Thank you for joining me. My name is Trina and I'm here to present Stocks and Investing in the Time of COVID-19. Right now, lahat po tayo nasa bahay lang and it's actually the best time to learn about a profitable opportunity na pwede nating i-take advantage given na mayroong fears ngayon sa COVID-19. So, if we would look at the headlines now about the Philippine stock market, ang dami pong bad news like the PSEI plunges down to 7-year low or Philippine shares dive. So, in short, they're saying bumabagsak yung stock market and it's true if you could see this chart this is the philippine stock exchange index so i will explain this in detail later but for now you just need to know this tells you the overall health of the stock market so if naririnig niyo yung uh, traders investors or media outlets saying na mahina yung stock market malakas yung stock market ito yung tinutukoy nila and for now you just need to look at the direction okay so if the market, the PSEI, Philippine Stock Exchange Index, is going up, that's a good sign because that's how we make money. We make money kapag pataas yung value ng mga stocks. But here, since 20, since the start of 2020, we've been down 40 to 50 percent. And might think nakakatakot naman yun, okay? Because we're talking about money here. But you know there's a saying here, and I quote Warren Buffett, when others are fearful, it's the best time to be greedy. Yeah. And what contributed to this drop isn't just COVID-19. If we would recall, we also have yung uh, tensions between US and Iran, the Taal eruption, and even the water crisis. And this isn't the first time we have this crisis. Actually, overcome several moments of weaknesses na in the past. We've gone through Yolanda, we've gone through Merskov. And just to illustrate that better, here is a short video. When everything normalizes, the investing spree begins again. So right now, habang mababa pa yung market, we can take advantage of the low prices. But, disclaimer, I am not claiming to be a time traveler and say for sure after COVID, uh, tataas na yung stock market ulit. Because we have four possibilities, okay? Fear will contribute more to the downtrend of the market or yung pagbaba ng stock market. So ayaw natin yun and hope will contribute to the uptrend. So, yan yung gusto nating sakyan. And this is going to be the, the huge jackpot opportunity. Okay? So, what contributes to fear? One possibility is tumagal pa tong COVID-19. The quarantine ends April 12 to 15, but possible pa rin naman na tumagal pa siya because it's spreading so fast. But as of recording, in China, nagsobra nag slow down na yung cases of new cases. Another thing that contributes to fear is, let's say, okay, mawala si COVID-19, but something else follows. Siguro another catastrophe, or it's knock on wood, sana hindi naman another pandemic. On the optimistic side, everything normalizes. Everyone goes back to work, konti na lang yung naikitang cases ng covid and the best case scenario is we will overcome anything and everything. And this has been the trend of humanity ever since. We have overcome wars, world wars. We have overcome plagues. And I would just like to give a shout out to the heroes natin right now sa pandemic, which are the frontline workers, those uh, working in the medical front, and mga po provide ng basic necessities. So more power team. So just to illustrate, uh, ano yung best case scenario natin or the most profitable opportunity, 
The last time we were this down sa Philippine stock market is back in 2008, noong nangyari yung financial crisis. So if you would see here, if this region, we were down about 40 to 50% then. I will use the ruler tab here. I'm using the 2 Trade Asia platform. Yan. So if you would measure, you can see na we were 50% down that time no nangyari yung financial crisis. But from this point onwards, like if you would see the trajectory here, we have been going up ever since because best case scenario nag recovery yung market. Yan. Over the years, we continued to go up. Meron pa rin volatility yung stock market. But imagine buying at a time nung may financial crisis. You would probably be a millionaire by now. And then, COVID happened. So I don't know about you, but I'm pretty excited kapag mangyari nga yung best case scenario. Because you know, best case scenario, 5-10 years from now, there are more Filipino millionaires now because of the stock market. Okay, so I just want to start with this self-assessment question. How many sources of income do you have? Okay, so just have a mental checklist. We're not concerned here kung gaano kalaki yung kinikita nyo in uh, one source of income, but more of the spread. Because best pa rin if we have more sources of income uh, as part of our protection. Para kunwari machugi yung isa dyan, at least meron tayong alternatives. Okay? And I'm here to teach you possibly one of the most profitable opportunities na dadating given na may COVID fears na yun, Which I'm pretty, pretty excited about. So, just to introduce myself, my name is Trina Sardegna. Baka lang isipin nyo kung sino-sino itong uh, nagtuturo sa inyo about stocks. I'm a student of Rainer Tio's Trend Following Mentorship Program. Rainer Tio's is one of the most followed traders in Singapore. I'm also a graduate of the Leadership Excellence Achievement Program by Innovate. Um, my experience with stocks, I was able to make money here and I'm going to be speaking from experience. Tuturo ko sa inyo yung lahat na natutunan ko and nag na din ako sa ANC and CNN. And just to share a bit of my experience learning stocks, I've attended several seminars before and na excited ako na marami daw yung mayaman dito, which is true. There are a lot of success stories here. But, nung nag-start na ako mag-invest, parang hindi ko na alam ko na yung gagawin ko. So, in my own little ways, as one of my ways of giving back, you know, I'm going to teach you para hindi nyo na pagdaanan yung pinagdaanan ko. But more than that, I'm just a simple person with extraordinary dreams. Um, hindi po ako yung star student in school. I was just really passionate and interested in learning about passive income. Passive income is, you know, kahit matulog ka, the money won't stop coming. Because life's too short, no? Mas lalo ramdam natin yan sa COVID. And it's not just me, because people from all walks of life can and have profited from the stock market. So, since this is an online video, I medyo dadaanan ko na tong, tong slide na to. Yan. And just to break off the ice, if ever meron pa kayong fears about investing in stocks, your big institutions are doing it too. Your banks, your pension funds, yung SSS pag-ibig, your insurance companies, even the foundations. Chances are, everyone who is asking money from you now, tapos pinapromise nila, isasolid nila sa inyo a bigger amount in the future, they're investing that money sa stock. And just to share also one of my favorite proverbs, uh, give a man a fish, you feed him for a day, teach a man how to fish, and you feed him for a lifetime. So here, I will be giving you the shovel to dig your own gold mine. Okay, so please treat this as a class kung saan matututo kayo because this is not being taught in schools. So I will do my best and I hope you learn a lot. And for the best learning, I recommend that you grab a pen and paper now. So siguro you may pause this video. Please take down notes, write down your questions, and after watching this video, you may send your questions to your Facebook Messenger ni Tutri or send it over email. And lastly, before I talk about stocks specifically, I want to make sure na yung viewers nito have already have good money habits. Ganito lang itsura niya. Ideally, you have a system or an allocation of your income. So, kung nga 50% na pupunta sa necessities, ayaw naman natin yung 99% na pupunta sa necessities. Okay? 30% 
I hope nakaipon or mag-ipon na kayo ng emergency funds. That is six months worth of your living expenses para kunwari like ito, may lockdown. Diba? At least we can survive for the next six months. Then after which, you can play with your money, give it to charity, learn a new language, or travel to other countries. And 20% for financial freedom. Pa- financial freedom or yung mga passive investments natin. One of which is stocks. The only point of this is you only invest money you can spend. So, now, let's talk about stock. So, the way I would like to define stocks is this. Imagine I have a coffee business and I want to grow my business. So, to grow my business, I will need to set up new stores. Tatayo ko ng iba-ibang outlets ng store ko. So, to grow my business, kailangan ko ng pera. Saan ako pwede kumuha? One is yung kinita ng business ko, which is here. Pwede ako umutang sa banko. Pwede ako kumuha ng investor. At pwede ko rin ibenta yung ownership sa inyo or sa public. So, yun yung stocks. Pag nakita niyo yung stocks, shares, equity, pare-pareho lang po yun. So, stocks, it's selling part of the company's ownership to you or the public. Okay? Para lang malinaw kung ano yung binibili natin pag nag invest tayo sa stocks. Yan. So, when you buy shares of a company, you become a part owner of the business. And ito yung rights natin. One, we can vote in shareholder meetings. We can, may, meron tayong share sa kinita ng company called dividends. And pwede natin ibenta yung shares natin sa iba ng mas mataas called capital gains. So let's say bumili ka ng share at 5 pesos, benta mo to 8 pesos sa iba, then ang tubo mo is 3 pesos per share. And just for you to appreciate, decades ago, if you wanted to invest in stocks, you had to call your broker or at least present ka sa trading floor to make investments. But now, with the technology, kilangan lang natin laptop, smartphone, and we can invest anytime, anywhere. So if OFW kayo viewing this now, know that you can invest in the Philippine stock market din. So just to give you an overview kung anong investing in stocks, let's say nag time travel back tayo to 1993. Jollibee listed in the Philippine stock market for the first time, 9 pesos per share. Yan, yung shares ni Jollibee ay worth 9 pesos. O diba? Pang jeep lang. Under Jollibee that time was Greenwich. Yung ganito pa itsura ng logo niya. Okay? So, let's say I bought 10,000 shares of Jollibee back in 1993. My investment was 90,000 pesos. So, 1993 kasi nagustuhan ko yung burgers ni Jollibee and naniniwala ako na lalaki siya. Fast forward to 2007, yung shares ni Jollibee is now worth 50 pesos per share. So ayun, nagrebrand siya ng logo, tas nadagdag pa si Chow King and Red Ribbon sa portfolio ni Jollibee. Yung 10,000 shares na binili ko no 1993 is now worth 500,000 pesos. So, kung gusto kong i-lock in yung profit ko, Bebenta ko na yung shares na binili ko, pabalik sa stock market. So, ang tubo ko, 410,000 pesos. Gross. Okay? We'll talk about the fees and charges later. Yeah. So, let's say ikaw yung bumili nung 10,000 shares ko. And yung investment mo is 500,000 pesos. Diba? Ganun kakayaman. Fast forward to first quarter 2019. Yung binili mo na 500,000 pesos is now worth 3,250,000. Dahil yung shares ni Jollibee from 50 pesos naging 325. And mind you, this is actually the highest price ni Jollibee. And ang nadagdag sa portfolio niya, si Burger King, Mang Inasal, Slash Burger, Tim Hoan. But, fast forward to March 2020, it dropped to... 91 pesos per share at least as of recording yeah so that same 10,000 shares is now worth 910,000 what happened well binili niya si CBTL and analysts discovered uh, it's losing money and it has a lot of debt or utang and nangyari din yung sa COVID-19 Jollibee wanted to expand in China so this shows you the reality behind investing so dito you can be a millionaire and you can also lose a lot of money. But I'm here to teach you that it's possible to not lose big. So, stay tuned. And the only reason why people would buy shares of a company is they believe they can sell it higher in the future. 
gusto natin yung small time na nagiging big time. Like Jollibee. When Jollibee started, hindi naman yun malaki kaagad. Uh, in fact, Jollibee started as an ice cream parlor in Quezon City. Tapos pumatok yung burgers, became a hit in Metro Manila, nag-expand to besides Mindanao, and is now expanding globally. Now, the decision-making process is tatlo lang naman yung steps. Anong bibilhin ko? What do I buy? Why buy it? Saang presyo ko bibilhin? At kailan ko ibebenta? So I hope by now clear na po na investing in stocks is just co-owning company. So dadaan na natin tong steps one by one. So let's start with yung what do I buy and why buy it? So enough na ba na kilala lang natin yung companies? Chances are hindi because as you've seen, si Jollibee, although it's a very popular, uh, just last year, nasa 300 pesos per share. Right now, it's below 100. So for what do I buy, usually we start with companies we know. Yeah. These are the top 30 companies of the Philippines, also known as our blue chip companies. Okay? So meron po ba dyan kayong nakikita ang hindi nyo kilala? Usually, in my seminars, uh, ito, si Bloomberry, this is Solaire, ICT, International Container Terminal Services. These are Enrique Razon companies. LT Group is Lusitan Group. So, yan po yung mga Diyosi natin. Asian Brewery, TNB. But, generally, we know these companies because chances are the products we are using dito din galing. We have the Ayalas, the Henry C, the Gokong Way, Jollibee. Tony Tan Kak Chong, San Miguel, etc. These are the top 30 companies, but we actually have over 270 companies to choose from. So, sa dami na yun, syempre, we can divide them by industry or by size. Merong maliit, merong gitna, merong malalaki, tapos meron tayong banks, merong power, may water companies, may casino companies, even the telcos, may property companies. Okay? And we don't really need to look at a textbook because we experience them everywhere. Chances are the products you're using or the services you're using, uh, you can invest in them too. So, in this na bayad lang tayo ng bayad ng bills, we can in fact co-own those companies na binabayarin din natin. So, just to use myself as an example, at home, yung electricity provider namin is Meralco. And Meralco is a transmission company distribution company rather but it also has generation power generation mga power plants so nagsusupply ng coal sa power plants ni Meralco si Semirara Mining which is a DMC company when people think of DMC they usually think condos house and lots but it's actually more of a mining company our water provider at home is Maynilad and hati dyan, si Metro Pacific and si DMC Although, mas malaki yung share ni Metro Pacific. I think around 58% as of recording. Yan. Metro Pacific, siya din yung sa mga tollways natin sa NLEX, uh, some hospitals like the Makati Med, Cardinal Santos, and sa Mani Pangilinan Company. Our internet at home, si PLDT, which is a sister company of Metro Pacific. It's also a Mani Pangilinan Company. Uh, when we do groceries, we go to SNR. And did you know that SNR is under pure gold? So a lot of people think competitors sila, but not really because they're, they just serve different markets. Okay, and they're both under Costco. My network provider is Globe, which is an Ayala company. For payroll, we have VDO, which is under SM. Favorite fast food go-to is McDonald's. I love their coffees. And it's you can invest in it through Alliance Global. And Alliance Global also owns Mega World, Resorts World Manila, Emperador. So you would think Magdo and Emperador and their sisters. Lastly, yung favorite tambayan ko is Greenbelt, um, which is developed by Ayala Land, which is an Ayala company. So you know, these connections, hindi ko naman sila na-discover overnight. Just because I'm exposed to being in the stock market, dun ko na-discover yung connections nila. Okay? And if in our usual lives, meron tayong chismis, kung entertainment news, you know, dito sa stocks parang ganun din. Except yung chika natin is about business tycoons. Okay, so sa sobrang daming companies na pwedeng pagpilian, uh, the question is, sino dyan? Kanina tayo pwede mag-invest. So, enough na ba na kilala lang natin sila to know their good investments? 
Now, my reco is to get to know it like you would a potential partner. So, this is my way of simplifying this. My guideline is 1D. O stands for operations. N is net income. E is expansion. And D for dividends. So, to simplify that, say medyo technical, yeah. Let's see, kunwari, I'm talking to a potential partner. Diba usually you ask, ano hanap buhay mo? Or how do you make money? Net income, ito yung natitirang income after bayaran ng person or ng company. Lahat ng expenses, obligations niya. So here, we find stable ka ba? Mahirap naman kumuha ng partner na hindi stable. Okay? Expansion, anong pangarap mo? Okay, gusto rin natin yung may pangarap. Because si Jollibee, from 9 pesos to 50 to 325, uh, nag-grow kasi siya. And yung growth ni Jollibee was, ayun, expanding Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, and eventually globally. And lastly, meron tayong divider for dividends because we treat it as a bonus. So, dividends, in recap, it's yung share mo sa kita ng company. So, it's like a bonus gift na makukuha natin. Ayun, ano pwede ko makuha sa'yo? If we were to apply this, si Jollibee, sa blue chip company. So, Jollibee, anong hanap buhay mo? Paano ka kumikita? Siyempre, nagbibenta siya ng pagkain. Usually naman, we are customers of these companies. So, hindi mahirap isipin kung paano sila kumikita. Jollibee makes money by selling food and nagpa-franchise siya ng brands na ito. Net income from 2015 to 2018, we can see here that it's been growing double digit. But 2019, something happened, na bumabasa 14 percent. So that's what I was talking about about the CBTL buy-in. Okay, expansion. They're targeting to add 600 stores in 2020. So that's a good sign, and they want to expand them to one in China. So siguro may delay lang don because of the COVID. And did they give dividends? Yes, twice a year. So, meron tayong bonus if we invest in Jollibee. Another example, si Ayala Land. It's another blue chip company. So, Ayala Land, ano hanap buhay mo? They make money by selling yung real estate projects nila. And rental income sa malls. Plus, kung ano man developments ni Avida and Alveo. So, net income from 2015, even hanggang 2019, it's been growing double digit. So, very solid growth. And they're targeting 40 billion net income by 2020. But since Ayala Land has a lot of malls, most likely may impact siya ng COVID because people are avoiding the malls. And do they give dividends? Yes, twice a year. So later sa walkthrough, I will show you saan galing lahat ng information na ito. But for now, you just need to take note of the way to get to know a company. So para lang siyang jowa. Now, to differentiate a smaller player, so what I love about these small players is they're actually the hidden gems of the market. Hopefully, I'll cover it later. So, SSI Group, when you look at the name, chances are baka hindi natin masyado kilala. But, if you look at the brands, kilala naman. SSI, siya yung nagdi-distribute ng, usually ito yung brands na nakikita natin sa malls, Lacoste, Zara, Kixin Spencer, Rustans, uh, Muji, Salad Stop, Okay. Net income. Stable ka ba? 2015 to 2016, something happened. 71% down yung net income ni SSI. So, since maraming clothing business si SSI, yung mga clothing lines sa malls, syempre it was hurt by the entry of sila H&M and other fashion players. I'm not too familiar with yung fashion industry. Yan. But it's been recovering ever since. And if you would notice, your net income is in the millions with an M. Our blue chips, since they're big, they're earning in the billions, usually. And nine months 2019, it, it's still growing. So, nine, kaya siya nine months kasi wala pa yung full year report ni SSI as of recording. And ano pangarap ni SSI? They want to launch another food concept in 2020 after Shake Shack. So, to all those in BGC, did you know that Shake Shack was uh, distrib launched or distributed by SSI Group? Uh, so, wala pa tayo updates dito if matutuloy or what the next food concept will be. So, we'll see. And dividends, yes they do, but not regularly. Differentiate natin further with a small cap. So, this is AC Energy Corp. Formerly, or last year, 2019, 
it was called Finma Energy Corporation. So, siguro if Finma Energy Corp, parang wala lang, but lagyan mo ng Ayala Company, syempre biglang, whoa. Okay? So, what happened was, so imagine a big shark eating a baby shark. And that big shark is Ayala Corp. Binili nila si Finma Energy Corp. And they're going to make it the renewable energy arm of Ayala Corp. Renewable energy, like solar, hydro, wind, etc. So, do you think renewable energy is the future? If so, then you can grow up with companies like AC Energy. Or kung sino pa yung mga nag-venture sa renewable energy. Okay? Net income, so 2015 to 2016, ganda ng growth. But it's been dying from that point. Bumababa na siya from that point on. And in 2018, it was actually at a loss. So, dun siya binili ni Ayala Corp. And the 9 months last year, 9 months is January to September, it made 203 million in net income. Anong pangarap niya? They're targeting 2,000 megawatt capacity by 2025. Yan. So, hopefully, we do migrate to renewable energy sooner rather than much later. Nagbigay ba sila dividends? Not yet. Because, syempre, since it's a growing company, they need to use the money for growing the business. So, tsaka na sila magbibigay ng dividends. Okay? So, that summarizes yung what do I buy part. I hope it's clear na it's just like getting to know a company. Or when do I buy naman? So, another important skill na dapat matutunan natin before we invest is marunong tayo magtingin ng presyo. Similar to buying fresh produce sa wet market, syempre pwede sabihin sa'yo na fresh, pero pag tinignan mo na mabuti, hindi naman pala. So, that summarizes part 1. Another skill na pwede natin i-adopt dito sa stock market is yung marunong ka magtingin ng presyo. Yung alam mo kung paano sabihin mahal siya o mura. Parang yung movie tickets noon, they were just around 180 to 220 pesos, ngayon nasa 320 na. So, nagmamahal. When do I buy? To make this more engaging, um, the best way we learn is through experience. So, the best way to learn dito sa pagpili ng presyo is we play a game. So, I also want you to experience this. Yung hindi lang puro lecture-lecture tayo. And I know the format of this class is a video. So, I highly encourage that you you stick to, uh, you follow the instructions. And very simple lang naman po ito. Okay? So, bato-bato pick game lang. Please find a pair kung andyan yung kapatid nyo or yung kasawa nyo. You can borrow some of their time. Yan. Please find a pair and each pair must agree on their risk and reward. So, you can play with real money or you can play with virtual money. No one is stopping you. So, on real money, it doesn't have to be big. It can be piso, limang piso, 20 peso. So, it makes it more fun. Yung having the risk and reward. So, just for you to experience what it's like to play with risks and rewards. And please also agree if mag-isilang bagsak kayo or yung bato-bato. So, isang bagsak or tatlo. Please choose it now. Will you be using virtual or real money? How much is your risk and reward? And isang bagsak or tatlo? So, for this game, we will have a trial round work. So, if ever matalo kayo, syempre hindi nyo muna isasurrender yung, yung wager nyo, yung money, virtual or real money. So, we'll start the trial round in 3, 2, 1. Again, this is the trial round. Wala pa naman talaga na wala sa'yo. But, dun sa natalo, or if I'm talking to the one who lost the game, the trial round, um, please use that trial round to your advantage dito sa actual round. So, here, kapag matalo ulit kayo, then you will surrender the money to the winning, whether virtual or real money. So, we'll start the actual round in 3, 2, 1.
congratulations to uh, the winner. Sana po talaga nag-participate kayo because may point po bakit ko pinapagawa to in my class. Actually, your choices in this game uh, says a lot about you and how you approach risk. For example, choosing virtual versus real says a lot about how risk aggressive you are. Although you can choose virtual for convenience kasi nakakatamad ko rin yung wallet, pwede rin yan. Also says a lot about us. <laughs> Pati yung pagpili natin kung isang bagsak or yung bato-bato pick. So usually yung bato-bato pick, they're more calculating. I personally prefer that approach kasi isang bagsak. Kasi kailangan mabilis mo kapain yung pattern. Yan, yung mga isang bagsak, very bara-bara or quick thinkers at their best. So the point of that game, bakit ba yun yung pinagame ko about choosing what price to buy? Because it's all about studying patterns. That's the reason why we have a trial round and why we have an actual round. And patterns help make outcomes become predictable. So, dito sa stocks, meron na naman tayong three patterns dun sa paggalaw ng presyo. Pataas ba siya? Pagilid? Or pababa? Siyempre, gusto natin yung pataas. Also known as bullish. It's just the term dito sa stocks. Okay lang din sa atin sideways. But ayaw natin yung downtrend. So, siyempre, sa uptrend, Yan yung gains natin can be 20%, 30%, 50%, and I've also heard stories na 150%. For sideways, yan yung moderate gains, 8%, 5%, 10%, 20%, not bad. But ang ayo natin is yung downtrend, okay? And right now, the market is in a downtrend. And because ito yung patterns ng paggalaw ng presyo sa stock market, we have these four possibilities. You can win big. As in, marami po talaga nagiging millionaires din dito. You can win small. You can lose small. You can also lose big. But, just like in any game, if you have risk management, it's possible to not lose big. And that's what I'm here to teach you. So, I will be teaching you the skill of reading a chart. So, if nanonood kayo ng movies, usually, when you talk about the stock market, lagi yan merong chart. Kahit mag-google lang kayo, you will see charts. I started this presentation with a chart. So, Babalikan ko yung Philippine Stock Exchange Index. So, at the early part of this presentation, I told you that this tells us the overall health of the Philippine stock market. And we just need to look at the direction. So, what it does is, in average na yung price movement ng top 30 companies natin, which are these. So, if you would recall, these are the top 30 companies natin. So, yung Philippine Stock Exchange Index, in average na yung price movements lang nito. So we can see, in 2017, the market was going up. It was actually one of the best times to invest. 2018, tayo. 2019, sideways. And 2020, it's, we witnessed a big drop because of the pandemic. Yeah, 2019, a lot of my trades then this year were, were sideways, which I'll share with you later. Yeah, so, just to show you an example, kung ano, ano nga ba impact na itong COVID. So, okay, kita natin na sa PSEI, laki ng drop niya. How does that translate to the individual companies? So, this is SM, the chart of SM Prime Holdings. Yan yung malls ni SM. It's a blue chip company. Had you invested in it noong 2016 and nag-pull out ka noong 2019, your investment would have gained 153% in 5 years. Ano yung tura niyan pagdating sa pera? Yung 50k mo naging 126,500. But, because of the COVID drop, yan, sobrang laking drop, almost ka-level niya na ulit yung 2016 figures niya. Yan, so sobrang mura. You might start asking, ngayon na ba maganda bumili? I'll explain later. Another example si San Miguel Corp. So, had you invested in 2016, and umalis ka 2019, na maximize mo 178% in 4 years. Until, of course, the drop. So, because of the drop, nasa 80 pesos na ulit siya, sa level niya na yung 2017 prices niya. And just to differentiate with a smaller company, a mid-cap company, si Wilcon Depot. Yan. So, Wilcon Depot, nag-list siya sa stock market for the first time in 2017 at 5 pesos per share. It peaked around 20 pesos, 19 to 20 pesos, before of course dropping because of the COVID. Yan. So, imagine, you invested in it for 2 years since IPO niya, or IPO's initial public offering. Your investment would have gained 202% in 2 years. Yan. So, notice, 
with blue chip companies usually take several years before you see significant gains. But with smaller, the smaller ones, like you work on Depot, a mid-cap company, what you can achieve so blue chip for longer, often you can achieve them sa smaller companies in a shorter amount of time. So you can see the level niya na ulit yung 2019 prices niya. So those are just examples of mga nangyari na. Samples lang yun ng mga nangyari na. Okay? So, dito naman, I will teach you how to decide kung kailan na ba ako bibili. Starting with the sideways trend. 80% of the time, sideways lang usually yung galaw ng mga stocks in even the market. Except this year, because of COVID, because of the unforeseen events na beyond our control, the market is in a down trend. But I'll cover this first. So, please take down notes in this section. Papadrawing kayo dito. Now, have you ever heard of the saying, buy low, sell high? So, the next question naman natin dun is, how do we know what's low and what's high? Just like the rock, paper, scissors game, we look at the patterns, the historical patterns. Okay? So, this is the price over time. Ang sideways na paggalaw is, looks like this, right? Very simple. You just look at kung saan siya nagtatouch. Nagtouch siya dito, one, two, three. And similar dito, nagtouch siya one, two, three. So, the qualification na naman is nagtouch siya more than once. So, this is called our buy low range, also known as support. And this is our sell high range, also known as yung resistance. So, buy low equals support, sell high equals resistance. So, nagdrawing lang ako ng line dito kung saan siya nagtatouch. So, translate natin sa stock charts because stock charts look different. Yan, this is an example of a stock chart. So, nagtouch siya dito 1, 2, 3, and nagtouch siya dito 1, 2, 3, 4. So, this one is our support kasi every time nagtatouch siya dito, maakyat yung price or binibili siya pataas. Kaya siya support kasi sinasa low. Okay, so, sinalo siya dito, pupunta dito. Sinalo siya dito, pupunta dito. Sinalo siya dito, pupunta dito. Resistance naman is, diba, this is our sell high. So, dito, based on its patterns, nagbebentahan pa baba yung mga tao. So, every time na nagtatouch siya dito, bumababa yung price. And ayaw natin yan. So, right now, yung price is in here. Do you think it's a good time to buy now? So, the answer is not likely. Not likely because based on its patterns, every time the touch siya dito, it goes down. Another example, so nagdrawing lang ulit ako ng line here, kung saan siya nagtatouch. Nagtouch siya maraming beses dito, as you can see. And nagtouch din siya maraming beses dito. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So malinaw na malinaw kung ano yung support and resistance range natin. Malinaw na malinaw na sideways siya. So right now, the price is in the support. Do you think it's a good time to buy now? More likely. Because nasa support na siya. And just to show you some of my trades on 2019, just to show you na whatever this is I'm teaching, I also practice myself for that. Just want to show you na 2019 was a sideways period in here, this range. So, my trades in 2019 were mostly sideways. One example, si Metro Pacific, kita ko lang bumaba siya dito. So, kita ko lang 1, 2, 3, 4. So, this is a, clearly a support range. So, I bought and I was able to sell here. Hindi ko na hinintay dito na umabot sa resistance because I tend to get impatient here. So, that gave me 12%. So, yung pinang LU ko for 2 nights. Another example, Global Ferro Nickel. Kita ko lang... Uh, nandito siya sa support because look, nagtouch siya maraming beses here. 1, 2, 12, 3, tapos nandito siya. 4. And yung resistance here, pinag ko dyan. Sa 2 Trade Asia platform, pinrogram ko na siya na automatically mag-sell dito. So, sayang kasi hindi ko na abutan to. But that's okay because again is again. Another example, si Agri Nurture. Nakita ko lang bumalik siya dito sa levels niya here. So, I bought, I programmed it to sell here. That gave me 7%. And lastly, si SM Prime. SM Prime is, uh, yung sideways niya is, meron siyang yung mahabang sideways like this. And meron din siya yung mga micro sideways. Mga ganyang kalilit na sideways. As you can see. Even here. So, nag-drawing ako ng line sa lahat ng yan. 
So when it reached 34, I bought and I was able to sell here, which gave me 8%. And my only trade so far for 2019 is CACH. I'm ako kasi before the lockdown, before the panic, the stock market panic, piece of gave me 9%. So ngayon, I'm on the defensive because pro tip 2017, since paakit yung market, I was very aggressive. 2018, since pababa yung market, I was defensive. But, mas tinitingnan ko yung mga ano. Noong 2018, mas tinitingnan ko yung hindi yung top 30 companies. I was looking at the hidden gems. So, 2018, I was still profitable. 2019, puro sideways trends lang. And 2020, I am at the defensive. Explore natin later kung maganda na nga ba bumili na yun. Just want to make it clear that I'm not recommending na magsibilihan na kayo at these levels. Because what can happen is, you know, pa yung market. Becomes a falling line. Yan. So, we'll cover naman the uptrend and the downtrend because they're quite similar. Yung isa lang pataas, yung isa pababa. Differentiate it muna natin yung uptrend sa sideways. So, he mentioned na a sideways just looks like this. You just draw horizontal lines. That's it. It's that simple. An uptrend looks like this. So, what happens, yung pressure binrate niya yung resistance. So, when that happens, that's what we call a breakout. Yun na yung jackpot opportunity. So, we're talking about 20%, 30% gain, 50%. Historically, nagkaroon din ng 500% kay heaven. So, when a breakout happens, what used to be your resistance is now your support. Now, similarly, uptrend is ma-break your resistance. What can also happen is ma-break itong support. So, from sideways, we know na it's a downtrend. And syempre, yun na yung gusto nating iwasan. So, pag nagkakaroon ng downtrend, it's called the breakdown. An uptrend is a breakout. A downtrend is a breakdown. Yan. So, yung dati mong support is now your resistance here. So, yung question naman yan is, so, or at least what's relevant sa market is, hanggang saan bababa tong market natin? For a sideways, yung support and resistance natin, we just draw horizontal lines. It's that simple. In fact, sideways is the easiest trend. For an uptrend, it's quite similar. Na similar na we find points na nagta-touch, but we don't draw those lines. We uh, get the help from a an indicator, which I will introduce you to, the moving averages. So, the moving average, it's a chart indicator that averages prices in an overlapping manner to smoothen the volatility. Now, for the beginners, this is just one out of hundreds of indicators out there. But, this is uh, a lot of the indicators. I think, isa sa mga foundational uh, indicators available. Okay? So, when you understand this, mas madali nang intindihin yung mga advanced indicators na matututunan nyo pa along your journey. So, just to summarize the decision-making process, what do I buy? So, yan yung kilalanin mo lang kahit konti yung company. Ano hanap buhay nito? Operations? Stable ba siya? Net income? Anong pangaral nito? May future plans ba to, to grow? Expansion? And may bonus ba siyang dividends? When do I buy? On support or breakout lang. We don't buy when it's heavily falling down. And when do I sell? Dito na po nagkakaiba-iba lahat. Okay? Because you will have to pick one and stick to it. Are you going to hold on to its long-term story? Or are you just going to take advantage of short to medium-term trends? So, meron tayong long-term investors na usually they don't rely on the charts for their decision-making. Kinikilala lang nila ng masinsinan yung kumpanya and they grow up with the business. Uh, the example of that is si Warren Buffett, one of the most successful investors in the world. Meron din tayong pure traders. They don't bother to get to know the company fundamentally. Tinitingnan lang nila yung patterns and take advantage of it. So, a lot of Filipino mentors dito sa community, uh, they adopt the pure trader style. And, Meron din namang casual traders who mix both, like me, which is what I taught you. So, ako, I invest in good companies, fundamentally sound companies. I rely on the chart to time my entry, kung saan presyo ko bibili. And I only buy on support or breakout. Hinihintay ko po talaga. And, meron akong for long term, meron din akong laro-laro lang. 
but mas fun for me yung short to medium term trends. But again, important lang is you stick to your strategy and you keep it simple. Okay, so I've had several stories na sabi nila, they will just take advantage of the short to medium term trends. Ginawa nga nila, they bought on support, but nangyari, it's a breakdown. So, instead of cutting their losses, parang sabi nila, ah, hindi, nang hinayang maglo long term story na lang sila. So, important din talaga yung skill na marunong tayo mag-cut ng losses natin. Because it's part of the risk. Because here, sa stock market, we have to prepare for two possibilities. Like, you know what, to start pa lang ng presentation na to, I make no claims na ito yung mangyayari, ito yung mangyayari. Because again, I'm not a time traveler. But, maganda yung we are prepared for the possibility that it will go well, and we are prepared for the possibility that it will not. Because, you know, if lahat tayo laging tama sa stocks, hindi lahat tayo mayaman na. So, let's go over the two possibilities. So, if you're going to hold on to it for the long term, then you sell on news. What this means is, for example, nag-invest ka kay SM Prime because meron siyang reclamation project and it's going to be huge and you know, a reclamation project or a reclamation area takes, takes time. It takes years. So, you can sell on news. And when do I sell? Kunwari, pinanghawakan mo yung stability ng company. So, nag-invest ka kay Blue Chip kasi stable siya. But, if hindi na intact yun, kunwari something happens that compromises yung business niya, stop loss. Stop loss meaning cut your losses na. Or, if the story is still intact, you can average down. If it's a bad investment. What does that mean? So, let's say you bought here. Bumili ka dyan. Sabi mo, ila long term ko tong stock na to. But what happened is, bumagsak pa yung price. Now, the long term game is really you will have to wait years. So kahit may COVID, di ka magpapadala sa tako. But to manage your risk in a smarter way, what you can do is average down. When you average down kasi, your new break even price goes here. Let's say bumili ka here. Then, bumili ka din here ng same amount of shares. Your new break-even price is here. Pagbalik dito sa original price mo, kung saan mo siya binili, gain ka na. Instead of you bought here, tas buy and forget, tas dito pa yung break-even mo. So, that is the advantage of averaging down. I would recommend itong long-term investments for those na very cash-rich. <laughs> yung maraming pera. Because, you know, to buy and to buy more. To buy more and to buy more is, you know, it's a, also a privilege. For those naman who want to do the short to medium term route or the trader route instead of long term, long term, if it's a good trade, kapag sideways, you sell on resistance. Or if it's an uptrend, you sell on MA. And if it's a bad trade, straight stop loss. So again, Wag yung bumili ka kunwari na sideways, so break, tapos nag-breakdown, then you suddenly decided na investor ka na, long-term investor. No, please also learn to cut your losses because it's a way to manage risk. And by stop loss, um, our recommendation is to have a comfortable stop loss point between 3 to 10% so you never lose big. You can use 5. If very protective ka sa money mo, you can adopt the 3 to 5% risk. And kapag medyo maluwag ka naman, you can go for 8 to 10. Ano ba importance ng stop loss to? Because again, we need to prepare for two possibilities. The ideal possibility is tama tayo, bumalik siya doon. And the worst possibility is hindi mangyari yung gusto natin. So, if you have a stop loss, you always limit the risk of your investment. And advanced tip number two, do test buys. So what does that mean? Let's say you have 30,000 pesos to invest dun sa, dito sa particular stock. And let's say yung stop loss natin is 5%. So, using my handy dandy calculator, if inol in natin kaagad yung 30,000, tapos the worst possibility happens, syempre kakat natin at 5%, and we lost 1,500. But, if test by yung gagawin natin, let's say gawin natin 10K muna, then 10K, 10K kapag nasusunod yung gusto natin. So, if 10K muna, 5% of 10,000 is 500. So, <clears throat> that's the advantage of doing test buys. 
it's also a way to limit risk in case yung ito yung mangyari. So, possible po yun. Now, demo time. This is the part of the class, na, the, the walkthrough part. I will demonstrate to you my 5-minute shortcut because to me, I just do this 5 to 10 minutes every day or even less. And everything I taught you, pagdadaanan ko. So, what do I buy? Kilalanin muna natin yung company. When do I buy? Tingnan na natin kung saan yung support for breakout levels. And when do I sell? Tingnan na natin if meron tayong short, medium-term opportunities na pwedeng makuha. So, as mentioned, ito demonstrate ko yung 5 minute shortcut na ginagawa ko and I will simulate my first trade. So, when you log into your 2 Trade Asia platform, this is the first thing you will see. Yeah. So, this is the PSEI for the day. So, today is March 20, Friday, and we are up 155 points. So, ibig sabihin, nagbili na lang yung mga tao because kita nila sobrang bumaba ng market. And the stock market, given the quarantine, is open from 9am hanggang 1pm lang po. But regular schedule ng stock market is from 9.30am to 3.30am. So, if you decide na gusto mo itry mag-invest or mag-trade, mangyayari is popondohan nyo yung account nyo, your 2 trade account, and it will appear here. So, more about the funding details later. Yeah. If you go to the FAQ page, these are the funding details sa 2TradeAsia account. Just go to 2TradeAsia.com slash FAQ. Um, usually, funding dyan is online transfer or pwede kayong mag-visit sa bank then deposit nyo here. Yun sa account numbers. For OFWs, you use itong SWIFT code. And then, you email proof of transaction or screenshot of online transfer to accounting at 2 tradeasiacom and it will appear here. Tapos, pag may nabili na kayong stocks, dito siya lalabas. And here are some news, some advisories. To simulate my first trade, I usually start with what I know. And you know, the first company na nabili ko was Ayala Land. Just because it was a popular company. So, explore natin si Ayala Land. Again, kilala na muna natin. 1D. How does Ayala Land make money? Kamusta net income niya? Ano plans niya? And may dividends pa tayo makuha. So, to get to know a company, I go to the research tab. So, I go here, company data. And here, may meron kayo may kita, symbol guide. So, if you click this, lahat ng pwede niyong i-invest ga-appear here. Again, we're interested in Ayala Land. So, the stock code for Ayala Land is Ali. So, dito po sa stocks, uh, we use stock codes to make investments. Enter go. You can read about Ayala Land if you want. So, it's the real estate division of Ayala Corp. Tingnan natin yung financials. Yan. If you're not so accounting savvy, uh, you just need to look at the net income. Like I said, net income is yung natirang income after paying off lahat ng kailangan niyong bayaran sa government, sa tao, etc. So, dito galing yung data ko. So, look, from 2015, 17 billion, 20 billion, 25 billion, 29 billion, and nag-finish siya 2019 at 33 billion. So, ganda. Ganda ng track record. Let's look at the dividend history, which is just beside financials. So, dito rin galing yung twice a year. So, look, from 2011, since 2011, they've been giving cash dividends uh, twice a year. So, kung gusto mo maging entitled dito sa mga cash dividend, you have to buy before the X day. Pag like ito, nagbigay na siya ng dividends noong March 3, payable today. So, if you want to be entitled to this, dapat makabili ka na before March 3. Now, let's look at yung expansion plans naman ni Ayala Land. For this one, my shortcut is Twitter. So, just go to twitter.com slash 2tradeasia. Okay lang kung wala kayong account because the social media account of 2trade is public. And this is the shortcut I use. And what I love about Twitter is, you know, in 240 characters or less, andyan na yung balita. So, we don't really need to go through yung mga jario or yung news sites ng mga journalists. Yeah. And from the search bar over here, I'm using the desktop, as you can see. Just type the stock code. 
from colon to tradesia. So remember this shortcut. It's going to be very useful. You press enter. And pipindutin ko tong latest so that in chronological order yung mga balita. Yan, yung March 16. So yan, nakikita na natin yung date. AC or Ayala Corp sets 30% increase in capex. Capex or capital expenditure, yan yung budget ng company to grow the business. Ayan. Gagastas daw si Ayala Corp ng 275 billion this year. 30% higher compared to 2019. Tapos si Ali will account for 42% of total capex. Si ASPH 16%, Globe 23%. Manila Water, 9%, and BPI, 2%. So, sabi ni Ali, challenging to meet yung 2020 earnings goal. Sabi nila, mall and hotel operations suffered 10% decline in foot traffic during the first 6 weeks of 2020 due to taal's eruption and COVID-19 outbreak. So, yung pandemic, nararamdaman din po yan ng companies natin. Hence, the result ng share price movements nila. Supposedly, mayroong nationwide mall sale, but then again, the pandemic happened. You also see yung earnings release niya, going to offer rates. Nagkaroon din siya ng issue with the government, yung sa Ayala Technum Hub. So, I'll leave this for you to explore. But fundamentally, temporarily, Ayala Land will be taking a hit from the COVID, especially the malls. But in the long run, I think uh, very promising pa rin naman yung company. So, that's just the quickest, the quick way to get to know a company. Then let's go to charts. So that was step one. Let's go to step two. When do I buy? Magkatabi lang naman sila. Get to know is research. Uh, when to buy is charts. So nandito na tayo sa Ali. For this demo, I'll just switch to Foscu. Yeah. So here's the chart of Ayala Land. So what I do, I zoom out until I see a recognizable pattern. So again, please take this with the demonstration of the grain of salt because this is more of an art than a science. Yeah. So if I zoom back until 2014, kita ko na yung recognizable pattern ni Ayala Lan. Hindi siya mas sideways. It's either it's going up, yeah, 2014 to 2015, up, 2015 to 2016, down, 2016, first half, up, down, up, down, up. Down, and then the coronavirus pandemic which pushed it so low naka level niya na ulit yung 2012 figures niya 2013 2012 to 2013 so given na yung trend ni Ayala Land is either uptrend or downtrend hindi natin magagamit dito yung horizontal lines for finding the support and resistance okay so i will use the moving average and again, you can find the moving average here sa indicators. The moving average or MA. I pressed it twice. Here, I will program this 20-day moving average on a 100-day moving average. And for the style, papalitan ko lang to color orange para mas mag-distinguish natin. Then, I will zoom back in to the recent data. Ayan. Grabe yung din drop niya. So, from 2019, if we would look at yung 100 MA muna, 2019, which is this period, 2019, nasa taas ng MA si Ayala Lan, kaya it went up. So, from 41, it went as high as 53. Yeah, 53. Then, nung nabreak niya na tong 100 MA natin, again, what did we say? Since the price is below the MA, it's a downtrend. So, tapos na yung uptrend niya here. Now, it's a downtrend. And look, because of the pandemic, sobrang layo na niya dito sa 100-day moving average natin. Yeah. So far, ang tayo ng short-term moving average. So, it's also very, very far from the short-term moving average natin. Is it a good time to buy Ayala Land now, given na mababa siya? It's going to be very, very risky because you're buying so far away from the moving average. Okay? I cannot say with certainty na ito na yung pinakamababa ni Ali because as of today, March 20, yan, may mga sumulo na from yesterday, March 19. 
Yeah. Nung nag-22 siya, merong sumalo, and we closed 26.3 pesos. A, Ayala Land. So, again, ako ang pinapatulan ko lang buy on support or breakout. So, I will wait until mag-sideways or mag-uptrend si Ayala Land before I buy into it. But, let's say you want to take the risk. Just for the purpose of this demo. Because again, lahat ng stocks halos down. So, I won't really be able to show you how the trading platform works. So again, disclaimer, this is just for the purposes of the demo, the walkthrough, na we will simulate buying Ayala Land. So, dito sa trading tab here, we'll zoom in. I will type in the stock code, this Ali. And here, merong mag appear na bid and ask. Again, this is the market. So, meron tayong buyers, meron tayong sellers. Bid is the price kung saan siya gusto bilhin ng buyers. Ask is the price kung saan siya ibenta ng sellers. So, syempre kung buyer ka, gusto mo haggle, discount, mas mura. Kung seller ka, gusto mo mas mataas because that's how you make money. Now, the volume beside these prices shows you gano'ng karaming shares na gustong bilhin for that price and gano'ng karaming shares na gusto ibenta for that price. So, for here, Merong 199,300 shares na gusto bumili at 26.3. Here sa us, merong 36,000 shares na gustong ibenta at 26.4. So, if you would look at yung pit volume and the ask volume, saan mas marami? Obviously, it's the bid volume. Which tells you na, so in terms of the supply and demand, na mas maraming gustong bumili. Because again, sobrang baba na ng presyo ng stocks. So, let's say we're taking that as a good sign na ang ganda na bumili. For selecting the price, you can either join the other buyers or kagatin mo na yung price ng sellers. The price selection here is very arbitrary. So, let's say gusto ko na kagatin yung 26.4 na nakapila dito. So, I will type that in as my price. In quantity, you will see here merong minimum 100. So the minimum number of Ali shares you can buy is 100 or an investment of 2,640 pesos. But let's say we have to start, kung meron tayong 25,000 pesos to start. So we can afford to buy 900 shares of Ayala Lab. Now, yung term here refers to yung expiry ng order natin. So by default, it's set within the day. So if the next trading day, which is Monday, if the next trading day walang magbenta sa akin ng 900 shares of Ali sa price na gusto ko, then the order will be cancelled automatically. However, binibili ko naman siya sa existing seller, so there's no need to set this na good till week or good till month. So, you usually use itong good till week, good till month, if kunwari malayo sa current trading price, yung price ka saan mo siya gusto bilhin. Kung wari naniniwala ka na bababa pa siya to 24 or 23, then you can set this good to week or good to month. So, very simple. The market right now is closed since I'm recording this mga 2 p.m. na. But, it's okay kasi pwede mo na ipila yung orders mo kahit sarado yung market. The only time you cannot buy is during lunch break. Yeah. So, preview order, type your password, then you're done. You can also turn off the password here. But since this is a dummy account, wala naman siya naman. And just to show you another feature dito sa platform, here we have the trade calculator. So, it, this will tell you yung fees and charges na involved with trading stocks. And it's quite minimal. Um, yung minimum allowable commission for the brokers is 0.25% or 20 pesos, whichever is higher. Just really very, very small. Uh, so, rule of thumb, Yung break even price that you need to increase for every trade, dapat umakit siya by more than 1.2%. Ali. Sabi natin, bili tayo 900 shares ng Ali sa 26.4. Let's say, yung strategy ng gagawin ko kay Ali is uh, after the tong outbreak, it's going to go up. Yeah. After the outbreak, 26.4 is here. I can sell it back to 40 pesos. Basta pag umakit siya. And, since I don't want to hold on to this for the long term, 
I will set my stop loss rule. Let's say I'll go with 5%. So if magkamali ako, lumusot pa siya, at least protected yung money ko. So you can measure this here, 26.4. Dito sa gilid ng platform, meron tayong ruler that you can use. Stop loss is 25. So at least it's a shortcut to compute ko ano stop loss natin. So let's see. The ideal possibility is bumalik siya sa original levels niya at 40 pesos. So, that's like a 50% gain. Yung investment kong 23,000, binigyan ako na almost 12k. But, imagine if hindi lang naman 25,000 meron tayo. The bigger amount we invest, the bigger din yung return. Yeah, so cash is king dito sa stocks. And it's also one of the reasons why yung Mayaman, mas lalong may mayaman sa stocks. And another feature na available if you sign up online is you can already program your stop loss features also sa Free Trade Asia Prime platform. Okay, so we're almost done. So just a bit more info about Free Trade Asia. So if you decide to open an account with Free Trade Asia, meron po siyang tatlong platforms available right now. We have the mobile app, it's really suitable for the OFWs and those na always on the go. The beginner-friendly standard platform, ito po yung ginamit ko dun sa demonstration. And we also have the advanced platform. Very powerful features and I think this will be made available to everyone. Or I think this is already available for everyone. Though, syempre, for beginners, uh, I encourage you to practice muna here. And those naman na may experience na or want to upgrade kaagad, um, there's also the stop loss feature dito sa advanced platform ni 2Trade Asia where you can already program yung stop loss limit para hindi po tayo laging nakabantay sa stocks. The platform is also fast and seamless so you can catch those high flyers kahit ano pang platform dyan ang gamitin nyo. For customer support, it's as easy as texting your friends. Just message yung Facebook ni 2Trade Asia, follow the page. And for all concerns, just message there and the team will respond to you. There are also price alerts, which I'll leave you to explore na lang sa platform. When you open an account, you will also receive what you onboarding series intended for beginners. So, something to read through. And of course, meron kaming daily research na mag matatanggap nyo every day. Now, to get started, you know, to take advantage of the opportunity presented by COVID-19, uh, you'll just have to fill up the forms just go to yung website ni 2Trade. So just go to 2TradeAsia.com and then pagpunta nyo dun sa site, there is a button here to open an account. So fill up the forms, print and sign, tapos papadala nyo po sa office ni 2Trade. Uh, the address is 17th floor, Lepanto Building, Paseo de Rojas, Makati City. And fund your account whenever you're ready. So after funding account, dun ma-activate yung 2Trade Asia accounts niyo. And to fund your account, you can either do online bank transfer para walang fees, except BPI, I think, and over-the-counter bank deposit. Just transfer them to any of these uh, accredited bank accounts in 2Trade, screenshot your proof of transfer or email, then email to accounting at 2TradeAsia.com. So, thank you for joining me in this uh, video class. Just to share with you, as a bonus, yung top picks ng research ni 2Trade. I won't go over them now, just something for you to so a screenshot or take note of. Just pause the video if you want. Growth Place, these are the companies na you can grow up with. Value Place, these are the stocks na may high earnings potential but sobrang beaten down by the market. I would actually include halos lahat dito sa Value Place. <clears throat> Dividend Place, if you just want the uh, passive earnings. And the minimum deposit required to open an account is usually it's 25k but for everyone who signed up or everyone na nanood ng video na ito, the link is exclusive and your email is registered, your name also, you will be able to open an account for a minimum of 5,000. So make sure na, na nabigay niyo yung email ni K2Trade Asia, your full name and email. Please ignore yung only if you fill up the forms today. So, some closing remarks. Maraming is interested matuto, but kukunti lang ang napupunta sa mastery because it takes a uh, desire to learn consistency and grit to master any craft, not just stocks investing. You know, stocks are so cheap right now. 
na it's actually the best time to be learning about this, to be practicing. Because again, experience will always be the best teacher. And I will never claim na after this COVID eh, magiging millionaires na tayo. Because again, I would like to go back to these four possibilities. More fear will contribute to the downturn of the market, but hope will contribute to its upturn. So I hope na all of you are safe and I hope uh, we see this through. And hopefully wala nang kasunod yung COVID-19. And I have no doubt that we will overcome anything and everything. So thank you for joining this uh, this video class. Um, if you have questions, please feel free to send them to us. Again, here are the Facebook Messenger and email links. I mention you lang that you watch this video and list down your questions nyo and we'll try to answer. So that's it for me. Thank you and happy trading.